Hey everyone, right, let's uh, continue on our way towards Fing Fang Fu. What? I assume this is actually the way. All right, people, let's catch us a dragon. Yes, we grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Chipper, considering Foom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. <laughs> I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally, in the case of this place. <laughs> well, down we go. Oh boy! To the side! Uh... Have you lost your fucking mind? You would say that, wouldn't you, Gamora? Oh, bloody hell! Oh god! Holy shit! Well, that's one way to have done it. Well, that takes care of the getting down part. I don't even want to think about how we're going to get back up. Or how we're going to get Foom up there. Look on the bright side. We may be dead. Let's go Long crazy. Sense. Why the hell not? victorious and our conquest will fill us with the vigor of ten. Back on Earth, people would use dog sleds. A whole line of huskies pulling a sled across the ice. Don't expect me to be the dog. I was actually thinking of the Wendigo, and Foom is the sled. That's the craziest idea I've ever heard. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> that makes a change for you, Rocket. Oh, wow. That's your outfit up there. We still got to patch up the Milano. Eh, will be all right. I will prove the underbelly after Seknar. Okay. Don't we all? That may be Groot. Yeah, you must think we're a bunch of psychopaths. <laughs> nah, he sees us as soil he's cultivating. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you did too, you big cheese ball. <laughs> okay, that's very appropriate for this planet. Very, very appropriate. <laughs> that could not be more appropriate if it tried. <laughs> awesome. So, what was up with old Bubblehead? Seemed like an augment to me. Some sort of amorphous biochemical appendage. Ooh, I didn't think it could get any colder. You know, it's days like these. I'm glad I installed seat warmers in the Milano. Up ahead, there's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. <clears throat> this is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge the great beast. Fin fine boom! Come and face your death! What are you doing? We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. True. Also, we're not killing him. Exactly! Come with me. Here we demonstrate our metal. Fin Fang Foom! Your end draws near! Nope, not his end. Your quill. Go! Uh, fin Fang Foom, it's nap time! Oh, that was terrible. Rocket, it's your turn. Did he just say my real name? Rocket! Fin Fang Foom! We're gonna decomboggle your flock and scut spigots! You hear me? He hears you! You scaly, overgrown gordel splode! You fessed lump of satarki and shrub meat! You don't scare us! It feels good, does it not? Yeah! Yeah! Good load out of your sister now, Rocket! No! We just rolled! No! Yeah, we're not doing that. My Any God! Any last stories, Drax? You say the great beast has one weakness. You're telling us now. It is said that Fin Fang Foom is helpless. Just through here. Be ready for anything. That is technically impossible. Well, it's a manner of speaking, all right. Groot's worried about the ice. If it'll hold Foom, it'll hold us. True. Oh boy, we're about to meet Fin Fang Foom, aren't we? I really hope it is a, a, a great, a proper legendary sized dragon. I'll be actually quite disappointed. 
Watch be classic classic Guardian of the Galaxy style. It'll probably be something small. Where is he? Maybe we spooked him. I Impossible. doubt that. Fool was born without fear. You don't uh. know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. Dying stars ain't cold. Think his lair's behind that? Let's find out. Okay. Oh my god, beneath us! Alright. Uh, should we move out of the way? Holy shit! Okay, that is a hell of a dragon! Oh, hell yes! That's bloody awesome! Okay, that is really cool! Hell yes! Thing Fang Foo! In the bloody flesh! Oh, hell yes! Ho oh, ho ho! Hell yes! Oh, this is gonna be awesome! Oh, I was really hoping for a dragon, like a proper dragon fight! Hell yes! Oh, that is aw that is genuinely really cool! Oh man, that's awesome! Ho oh, oh. ho! I'm so glad the legends were true in that regard! Yes! Come on! Oh, oh I'm pumped for this! This is gonna be awesome! Ding, fang, boom. Uh, watch yourself, Quill, will ya? Okay, let me have a good look at ya. Oh my, it's actually using the ice for protection. That is actually really cool. Whoa. Oh man, this, this is gonna be so cool. Oh. Oh wow, I'm just soaking in the moment, just uh... Phew, that, that's actually a really cool dragon. Actually, to be fair, that also, it, you know, for, for the color scheme, that's, I don't know if this is actually in comics or whatever, but it, if it's true for comics, but, you know, the color scheme for it and this design is um, very representative for a cold planet, like for blending in, so to speak. So all these bright yellows and reds and whatnot you'd see for like a heat plant or whatever, or tropical. It's a very much a, you know, hibernate, I mean, I'm sure for what it's worth, you know, very much the survival in the cold type. It had very reminiscent design. I love it. You ice to defend itself. Okay. Oh, God. Um, let's get this ice armor off first, shall we? Oh god. Yeah, don't say. Oh bloody hell. Stand ready. Look, he's stuck. The bigger they are, the harder they Okay. See so what I can do about the ice armor. No, they're talking about the color jewel. Red and blue, green and blue do make purple. I think that's where they're getting it from. Or is that actually purple I'm seeing? Hang on. Working on it. Oh, bloody hell. Hang on! Working on something here, give me a second. Alright. Alright. Yep, on it! Hang on, trying to get this thing to actually uh, just slide down for just a second. Oh shit! Um, gotta watch my, gotta watch what I'm doing here. Welcome Wanna burn its feet off if I can? Oh bloody hell! No 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 no! Get up! Get up! Go 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 go! Oh, I've got to get him down, Ashley. Oh, oh bugger! Alright! See? 
Queen of Ice isn't such a bad nickname. Pass! Um. I want to wait till we get it down. I don't want to think about Katathy in heaven right now. Okay, let's out the road. Yes! His opinion does not appear to have improved. One to go! Don't care! Stuck in the ice! Go! Lay the heat in, will ya? Oh no you don't! Oh god damn it! Nice! Oh, we should not have done that. Oh shit. We're in for it now. Oh my god. Well, well, well. Ah, oh, you have lost your armor now. Oh, the only downside is we've we've incre we've just pissed this we've just pissed thing fang foom off to no end. It's just like you flocking dumbasses. You think in setting it's me the legendary thing fang foom. Well, fear my wrath. That's what I feel like he's trying to say. At least in certain words. <laughs> I at least you'd imagine, right? Although I extend to be a bit more um flavorful. Oh god! We are ready, hey, Quill. Wanna see some fireworks? Holy shit! Well, you gotta pay more attention! Hang on! Feel free to give up, boom! Yeah. I got you, Drax, don't worry! Go oh god! Let's get a huddle up! Get... <laughs> Let's really bring that motivation into this one. What are we waiting for? These blades are thirsty. Mine too. I want to run in there right now and do some serious damage, Peter. That won't work. Uh, need saving when it wants to do it. Uh... This bloodlust you feel, it makes things unreal. And it'll get you killed if you don't control it. Which is why we don't rush in. We take our time and we bring them down. Yeah, calculate it. Calculate strategic. Yeah, calculate strategic strikes. Good. I was a bit worried that would actually go the opposite way, to be fair. <laughs> uh, let's go. Let's lay in that hurt. Oh bloody hell! Now it's our turn to strike. Okay. We definitely got his attention. All right. What's wrong, Boom? Feeling exposed? You gonna lie down for me for a second? Oh no, you just do that. Oh shit! Oh god! Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Rock it! Go wild! Feel free to give up, boom! Yeah, play nice, and we'll go easy on ya. Lay it into him. I want to see. I'll lay the devastating strikes in once we've uh, got his head down, secured for a second. Oh God! Well, 
Hang on! Oh, Got your rocket! Buddy. What's next, Peter? Uh Give up, boom. All right. Good God, hang on. What is your guy's head down? Oh, bloody hell! He's to eat us. Can I not get his head down this? We got his Oh shit! Oh come on! Hold on, Groot! I'm coming! I can't use Drax or Gamora for this, which is a shame. Why can't you just sit down? Fine, I'll target the legs for a second. Whoa. Come on. Okay. Trying to get him to sit down for a second. Can land some serious hurt. Lie down! Hellbender's got all the minions you can eat! Whoop, you're up! <laughs> Looks like you need a little help! Make them hurt the hell! Go for it! Raise hell! Flesh does not dent! We seem to be taking this! That's better! Yes! Lay in some serious hurt on him! Oh shit, hang on! I'll call you Drax! Yeah, well, I can't use her right now, unfortunately. Wait, well, he's stuck in the ice. The beast grows desperate. Yeah, and he's about to get what? Take heed, the beast attacks. Okay. Now, that's our turn to fight. All right, right. go, go, go. Oh, you're okay! Let's do some serious hurt! Damn, that was well done, that was. Oh shit! And already hell, okay, okay. When would he? Okay. Nice! 
Oh! Nice! Hell yes! Couldn't have, fortunately I couldn't nice. use Gamora and Drax that much. That's a shame. Infant. But anyway. Who must fall in? Oh, come on! Now what? Oh shit, Hellbent is here. Can this actually get any worse? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh shit. This is bad! This is really bad. <laughs> They're down for the count. Oh god, okay. These just got a lot worse. Oh shit. Mantis! Oh, she's threatening her now! <laughs> Thank you, Mantis. Speak. Oh, this is the one where you make a good speech. Not like he's all much of a choice, to be fair. We screwed up. Well, that's a good start. Decent. We conned you, robbed you, killed your baby. We can't take back what we've done. She's listening. We got our attention. But we want to make it right. Okay. Uh, Quill. Oh, you can't. We actually killed Fing Fang Foom. Murdered the Dragon Lord of Kakarandara. Well, we didn't intend to! Groot's healing ability, hell yes! Oh, he's got the, the appropriate outfit as well! How about that? Go, Groot! Comes in clutch when needed, as always. <coughs> Top ethic. Yeah, that's the way, Groot. Show him how it's done. Ah, Foom returns! Fing Fang Foom. This is new. Two of us together. Wow. Lord Foom. You can tell there's a mutual respect there. Heavy. Oh, bloody the hell. Harvest begins. <coughs> wow. Dead worlds. Screaming across space. We must go. Now. No, so we have to is enlist our help, if we can. We could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another. Well, to be fair, it's going to be on your doorstep soon enough. Enough. I will gather my forces. Oh, hell yes! Lady Helper now, okay! Let's go. <laughs> we'll leave you two to it then. Wow! Awesome! Okay! I mean, to be fair, she's ignoring it now, but the church, if it keeps on growing, is going to eventually knock on her doorstep, and there's not much she's going to yes. be able to do to stop it. The noble Lady Hellbender shall fight alongside us this day, after we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. <laughs> we found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate. <laughs> and the path to destiny, my friends. <laughs> I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and yeah. we got Mantis back. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> but we lost Warlock. 
We'll need him to exercise the magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust him out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. <laughs> we still tracking him? <laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. I <laughs> uh, would be surprised Good. if it did. Then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. Oh, uh, she will. I'm certain of it. All right. Let's gear up, people. Tie up any loose ends. Take a pee if you have to, because we're not stopping again. <laughs> hey, Quill. What? Let me borrow your tools. Wait, what? Really? Why? Why? I need the focus. Come on. Are you serious? You never say that. Don't think, anyway. Do not drop that. Okay, that's weird. Huh. Mantis? <clears throat> what happened on Lamantis after we left? Last time we saw you, things looked dire. It's a long story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. Alright, but don't say I didn't warn you when church grandpa makes you do faith crunches. <laughs> Raker's gonna do what? It depends. But at some point, someone says my name, and then... There's a little bit of pee. Great. I did not want to know that. <laughs> oh, yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. Mantis, <laughs> I've got so many questions. I know, and I want so many answers. Like, seize the means of production. Or, it's not just a rash. Or, yeah. Not those. Uh, not oh. the answers I was looking for, but I'm wondering about the questions. What <laughs> questions? Uh, let's yeah, let's start with this one. What happened on Lamentis after we left? You said some people would survive, but that doesn't fare super well for the others. Many of the elders died. They didn't resist the invasion, but they would never accept the promise. It isn't their way. I'm sorry. Don't be. Their sacrifice bought time for me and the Kotati to hide most of the others. They will emerge when the galaxy is safe. So you're able to hide them in the caves. Hope you told him to stay away from the fog. <coughs> yeah, if that fog truly ever existed, if it was just in our minds, but anyway. How did you convince Lady Hellbender to meet us on Maklu 4? You weren't even with us when we decided to go. Actually, convincing her to go after you wasn't hard at all. <laughs> but convincing her to hear you out? Woo! That was tough. I had to get all creepy mystical and spook her with warnings about what would happen otherwise. You told her about the end of the universe. And she believed you? Oh, no, not at first. But when I brought up all her precious monsters dying, she came around. Couldn't take <laughs> that chance with her babies, you know? Well, I'm glad to have you with us. Yeah, oh, same. good, because you're not always glad. Okay. Oh, no. Well, sometimes I'm your ex-wife. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> I think she's pulling your leg, Quill. It only ever happens the one time, but it's so funny. Great. Aw, she says thank you for getting rid of Aiden Warsaw. Apparently she likes me better. Uh, Adam Warlock? Yeah, him. She thinks I'm bleats. It translates weird. <laughs> well, it, it is a llama. I mean, well, in a galactic llama, I mean, can't expect it to be perfect, let's face it. Laura's <laughs> good thinking. Get the watering sorted out before we go. <laughs> is he? <laughs> Is he? <laughs> he looks so sad, swishing around in his robes. <laughs> the, the what? What? What do he say? <laughs> Gr Groot wants to water the Grand Unifier. <laughs> oh. Okay. Right. <laughs> the soaked Unifier. <laughs> the, the Grand Humidity. <laughs> 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 I can't tell whether Groot's actually ex yeah, exuding water for the plants or having drinks. If I put my weight on my left foot, I have much better control over my right hook. People always underestimate proper footing technique. Focusing on the upper body alone is the mark of an amateur. Peter Quill, spar with me. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'll pass, Drax. I uh, don't want to get tired before the real fight. I'm tired. But this is the warm-up. It's not a bad idea. We don't know what's gonna happen when we get out of hyperspace. What if we get ambushed? 
That's what guns are for. Ugh, guns. <laughs> I, I love that. It's like, oh god, do we always have to mention guns? <laughs> those moves are really going to impress Lady <laughs> I do not need to impress her. Besting the great Fin Fang Foom is proof enough of my combat skills. Yeah, that would do it. I'm not sure Lady Hellbender was really impressed with how we handled that fight. You know, since we accidentally killed that dragon before Groot revived him? Yeah. Not impressed by a man slaying a dragon? Maybe if he does it without my help. Ha! Ha ha ha! That's going there. How was it uh, riding along with Lady Hellbender? Did she have you try on battle armor? Oh, no. She's very respectful of other women's bodily autonomy. We just talked. She asked about you. Uh, really? She wanted to know if you'd give her your bomb recipe. Sir Groot praised your skills at length in captivity. Uh, you, you don't got to apologize, bud. Look, she can get my bomb recipe if she pays for it. <laughs> Probably an arm and a leg and then some, I'd imagine. Going down this time tomorrow. I promise you. And I promise you, I'm getting Nikki out of there, no matter what. We will get her out. Together. Together. Good. <laughs> Had a quick. So, uh, bug girl, how come you can understand Groot so well? You've only known him a few cycles. Telenesian is a common language in some realities. The Jatauri don't always blow up Planet X. I am Groot. Yep. There's a dimension where I learned to speak it from a very aggressive compost vendor on Nowhere. <gasps> Groot loves compost. <laughs> sure he would. Hey Rocket, working on something? I'm always working on something. Yeah, let's ask about this. You're not listening to my tunes? No, you turned the music on. Then can I have my player back? Why? You already got music playing. Right. So you don't need the player to focus anymore. You might turn it off. Yeah, but... What part of I need to focus don't you get, Quill? What do you need to focus on so badly anyway? Something that might give us a way to get through the armada around Sacrosanct. Just in case Lady Skull Suit doesn't show up in time. Okay. Yes, what is it? You'll see. He's being intentionally deflective. Okay. Yeah, let's ask him about this. Where is it? Uh, what, what, where is it? Oh, here it is. Now that's a knife. Yes, indeed. Oh, you had to use that accent, didn't you? Didn't you, Quill? Wow. If you know, you know. Drax, hey, I was just... There is no need to explain yourself, Peter Quill. Unlike the rodent, I do not mind when others are curious about things it's a really cool blade with an equally impressive history <laughs> you recognize it it belonged to Zatar the unfinished a great Katathian warrior king who led the first pilgrimage to Maklu 4 wait so you're saying this is basically Excalibur I am unfamiliar with such a it's weapon. a legendary weapon on Earth. It's a mythical sword belonging to a famous earth king yeah and yes, but still legendary. I suppose you could say this is the Excalibur of my people. It is a symbol of a king and the great hunt he inspired for those seeking to regain a place in Old Top. Okay. So, this great hunt thing seems like a bigger deal than I thought. Did we mess it up for everyone by capturing Fin Fang Foom? What do you mean? Well, uh... Its purpose is to regain entry into Katathian heaven and stuff, and now there's no foom to, you know, send you there. Oh, good point. Uh, Peter Quill, there are many paths to Ultath. Oh, that's good. The pilgrimage to Maklu 4 is but one of them. Right. When Thanos murdered my family and destroyed my village, twice I chose the path of revenge. First, I raised a small army of Katathian warriors. Even outnumbered, we cut our way through the Chitauri line and challenged Thanos himself. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. On Katath, you faced Thanos twice during the Galactic War? Yes. But I was not strong enough the first time. <laughs> strong enough to survive? Sure. Thanos allowed me and a few others to live. Oh. To set an example. 
Defeated and humiliated, the surviving members of my squad chose to make the pilgrimage to Maku 4. But I could not. I continued to walk the path of revenge. Until you... You helped me put the ghosts of Hovat and Camaria to rest. To be fair, I had a lot of help. Very true. And yet you have given me a new purpose, Peter Quill. Seems my destiny was not in the mountains of Kakaranthara after all. But here, on this ship, with you. Thank you, Drax. He did have to move on in his own way. We helped him through it. That's what counts, isn't it? Zatar sounds like a hero of yours. King Zatar. And he is. Every Katathian warrior knows the story of his pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Why is he called Zatar the Unfinished then? In the history of my people, a rival king attacked Zatar's lands, easily overwhelming his forces. Captured and broken, Zatar challenged the rival king to a fight to the death. Okay. But the conqueror refused. Banishing him to a life of dishonor and disgrace instead. So King Zatar went to Maklu 4 to challenge the mighty Fin Fang Foom and change his destiny. Ah. Well, that's depressing. How is it depressing? Because he obviously failed. Fin Fang Foom's still alive and kicking, mostly. He did not fail, Peter Quill. King Zatar did not vanquish Fin Fang Foom, it is true. But he did redeem himself in the eyes of his people. He went f by dying. Not exactly a happy ending. An honorable death in the I'm eyes of his people. Up. Yeah. A warrior only truly dies when he stops living. King Zatar <laughs> proved that our stories, the records of who we were in life, are ours to shape. He could have died a coward who lost his place in Ultath, or he could do what I and many of my people believe he did: change the ending of his story. Well. I'm glad you're here with us now. I can't guarantee where our path will take us, but hopefully somewhere with lots of money and comfort. <laughs> I do not have a doubt in my heart, Peter Quill, that we will have moderate success. I'll accept moderate. That's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's face it, you know, it's an honorable death to redeem, you know, a, you know, a heroic death. Whether you fail or succeed, to redeem you in the eyes of your people. Yeah, makes no, perfect no, no, sense. Not like that. What is it? Your angle of attack is off. You have to go at it from the inside out, especially since Raker's body armor has inward folds. Uh, a tactically sound observation. I noticed it made a big difference when I had to assassinate a congregation of Badoon dignitaries. They were wearing so many layers. All right, and on that note, we'll end this one here. Yeah, well, it looks like we're going to face the Armada and all that the church has to offer, apparently. So, I'll see you next time. Let's hope you have some help along the way as well, for all the choices we've made. See you then.